welcome to Centro, everyone. I'm Yadira Nova Salcedo. So happy to have you with us. Today on Centro, we begin with our yearly special coverage of some of New England's biggest Latino summer festivals. This week, we feature the Dominican Festival of Rhode Island 2018, taking place on Sunday, August 12th, at the Temple of Music from 12 to 7 p.m. with the big parade starting at 10.30 a.m. down Broad Street in Providence. More than 30,000 people are expected to attend this great event. To give us all the details with us this morning is Huascar Beato, Vice President of Quisqueya in Action, the nonprofit organization coordinating this wonderful event. Huascar, good morning. Good morning. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having and me. And you're very happy and excited because for 31 years, you've been celebrating the Dominican Festival. Yes. What can you tell years. us about this year? I could tell you this year is one of probably one of the most exciting moments of, of, of this event yes. because it's, everything is getting together. It's the fact that we're putting everything that we can as a team to make sure that this year is as successful as the other years that we put in the festival together. That's so, great. It's so exciting. That's great. So, again, we're celebrating 31 years. Yes. We also want to highlight the fact that Quisqueya in Action is a nonprofit that actually coordinates the event. Yes. So, tell us a little bit more about Quisqueya in Action. Well, Quisqueya in Action, first and foremost, originated in 1986, a long time ago, yes, yes. with uh, Margarita Cepeda. It was a group of people, young kids that, you know, what, wanted to find something productive to do with, with the community. And as a group, we, we created a festival. So now what we're trying to do is just uh, promote the Dominican culture, promote yes. what, what, what we are about as a community, how, how, we, are, how we are connected with each other, mm -hmm. and just you know, keep, keep the tradition going, keep the families, the community, not only the Dominican community, but everyone that is involved in the festival. I actually want to highlight that, because when we think about the Dominican festival, we think only Dominicans go there. That's not the case, that Huasca. The I case. understand that so many people go from so many different cultures, and that's why more than 30,000 people actually yeah. go to this. Yes, and that's actually what we feel is what makes what we do mm -hmm. so much rewarding. Yes. Because we're not only bringing our, our community together as a whole, but also we're bringing other communities within what we're trying to achieve. And yes. that's the Puerto Rican, the Guatemalans, the Colombians, that's the Panameños, everything, everything. Yeah, it's that's, a Latino festival. It's a Latino festival. <laughs> yes, On the it Dominican is. Festival we, Day. It's, it, the title is Dominican, but it's everyone that's in, within the Latino Exactly. Community. Okay, so let's tell our viewers a little bit of what's going to be happening there. It's, it's from noontime to 7 p.m. at the Temple of Music. Music, but at 1030, the big parade yes. starts down Broad Street. Talk to us about that. Uh, so we close those streets all the way down to Roger Williams Park. Okay. So we have all different kind of carrozas coming in. Yes. Los Diablo Carreros are going to yes, be there. Yes. The music is going to be It's so pumping. colorful and so festive. We have, yes, so festive. So we have uh, like that parade starting from there all the way down to the Roger Williams Park, which usually ends about 12 because that that's a uh, no, on, uh, uh, it takes a while. It's a people. very big parade. Yes, that are involved in it. Yes. And by that time, they, everybody kind of split, which is the beautiful thing, how you see everybody scrambling to make it down to the temple. Yes. So now that's where the festival now takes place. Okay, so we're there at the Temple of Music already. There's going to be food. There's going to be food. Music. What else can music, people expect? Vendors. There's going to be a, a different vari variety of different um, mm -hmm. vendors that would like to um, sell what it is that they have to offer, yes. like, um, uh, I would say, paintings, and I would say, arts and crafts, and I would say, lo, Dominican, food, Dominican food, Dominican uh, music. Carne, no me, oh, <laughs> oh, my goodness. You're so. already there. I'm taking you there, Waskar. I'm actually taking you there. Um, I also want to highlight uh, the fact that you guys, again, Quisqueya in Action tries really hard to make sure that Broad Street is is nice and clean during and after you also yes. want to highlight that i do really want to highlight that part and i, I i'm probably going to put a straight face on this one yeah but i really want to put emphasis on the fact that the festival is at the park please make sure that you know if you're going to celebrate 
celebrate with you know a lot of, uh, of of common sense yes a lot of maturity a lot of good decisions in making sure that person is clean uh, you're not like coming out of your windows driving your car yes. the police are going to going to be paying attention to that mm -hmm. and there's something that I feel that Needs to be Security is very important. I also want to thank you, uh, thank Marilyn Cepeda, thank you as the Vice President of Quisqueya in Action for allowing me this year to be one of the Grand Marshals. So I actually want to invite our viewers to definitely <laughs> make it on the 12th. I'm going to be there. I'm going to be one of the Grand Marshals. So thank you for honoring You're me. You're welcome. Thank, thank you for you. accepting the invitation. It was really nice to see that when your name was mentioned, everybody just put their hands up. <laughs> it was so nice to see that. that thank reaction. you so much. And we'll see you on the 12th. And I will see you on the 12th. Exactly. Thank you, Oscar. <laughs> Once again, the Dominican Festival of Rhode Island 2018 will take place on Sunday, August 12th at the Temple of Music. For more information, you can call them at 401-996-0974. You can also get a direct link to their website and their Facebook page visiting us online at cbsboston.com slash Centro. There you can get more information on today's show and our past shows. Plus, you can watch Centro both in English and in Spanish. We also want to invite you to our social media pages on Facebook Twitter and Instagram. I'm Yadira Nova Salcedo inviting you to step forward to a better you. See you next week.